everybody. Welcome along to another Little Verse Online this week. Uh, we're going to have some more songs and a story and I'm going to show you how to make yourself some ears like this. I'm sure yours will look much better than mine so make sure you keep watching to the end where we've got our craft video to show you how to make those. I'll take that off for now. Right, we'll start off by welcoming each other then, shall we? So we're going to sing hello to everyone. Ready? Sing hello to everyone. Sing hello to everyone. Sing hello to everyone. Sing hello. Wave hello to everyone. Wave hello to everyone. Wave hello to everyone. Wave hello. Clap hello to everyone. Clap hello to everyone. Clap hello to everyone. Clap hello. And let's have a hug. Hug hello to everyone. Hug hello to everyone. Hug hello to everyone. Hug hello. There. We've welcomed each other very nicely, I think, haven't we? Now, we're going to have our Incy wincy spiders then. You got your spiders ready? Here we go. Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. So incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. That was good, wasn't it? Should we do that one again, Panda? Yeah, Panda wants to do it again. Ready? Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. So incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. Lovely. And we're going to have our two little dicky birds next then. Put your dicky birds ready. Here we go. Two little dicky birds sitting on a wall. One named Peter, one named Paul. Fly away Peter, fly away Paul. Come back Peter, come back Paul. Do that one again. Ready? Two little dicky birds sitting on a wall. One named Peter, one named Paul. Fly away Peter, fly away Paul. Come back Peter, come back Paul. Lovely. We're going to have a bit of tickling now. We're going to do this little piggy. Fingers or toes? Everybody ready? This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed at home. This little piggy had roast beef and this little piggy had none. And this little piggy went wee all the way home. Lovely. Let's do the other side, shall we? Ready? This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed at home. This little piggy had roast beef. And this little piggy had none. And this little piggy went wee all the way home. Lovely. We'll do a bit more tickling. We're going to do round and round the garden. We're going to do it on a hand this time. Ready? Round and round the garden, like a teddy bear. One step, two steps, a tiggly under there. <laughs> Let's do the other side to match, shall we? Ready? Round and round the garden, like a teddy bear. One step, two steps, a tiggly under there. There, my tickly panda. And um, we're going to take Panda off to the moon next. So we're going to get on our rockets, Panda. Here we go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We'll get there very soon. Five, four, three, two, one. Zoom. 
panda like zooming off to the moon. Let's do him again. Ready? Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we'll get there very soon. Five, four, three, two, one, zoom! Wow, good zooming panda. Now, I'm gonna bounce your baby on your lap. Are you ready, everybody? Here we go. Bounce your baby on your lap, on your lap, on your lap. Bounce your baby on your lap, just like this. Rock your baby side to side, side to side, side to side. Rock your baby side to side, just like this. Lift your baby up and down, up and down, up and down. Lift your baby up and down, just like this. I think we need to do that one again, don't we? Ready? Bounce your baby on your lap, on your lap, on your lap. Bounce your baby on your lap, just like this. Rock your baby side to side, side to side, side to side. Rock your baby side to side, just like this. Lift your baby up and down, up and down, up and down. Lift your baby up and down, just like this. Lovely. And we're going to go along the road now. We've got a smooth road. Ready? A smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a rough road, a rough road, a rough road, a rough road, a hole! You like falling down that hole, Panda, don't you? Let's do it once more. Ready? A smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a rough road, a rough road, a rough road, a rough road, a hole. There we go. Now uh, we're going to get rid of our wriggles. Ready for our story? And wriggle our fingers. Here we go. I can. Wriggle my fingers. I can wriggle my toes. I can wriggle my knees. And I can wriggle my nose. I can wriggle all the wriggles out of me. And I can be as still as still can be. Well, in our story today, we're going to think about how important it is to listen, to use our ears and listen carefully. Our story today is about someone called Samuel. Samuel was a boy and um, his mum was so thankful to God when she had Samuel that when he got a bit older, he went and lived in the tabernacle. It was sort of like the church they had and he helped Eli. Eli was the priest, the man who worked at the temple. So Samuel used to do jobs for Eli and they used to sleep at the uh, tabernacle as well. So one night they both gone to bed. Let's get them into their beds shall we? Here's Eli's bed. I'm going to lie him down and tuck him in. I'm going to pop him over there. And here's Samuel's bed. There we are. Tuck him up. So he was in a different room. And Samuel was fast asleep. And then he heard a voice say, Samuel, Samuel. Samuel woke up and thought, oh, Eli must need me. So he got out of bed and he went rushing into Eli's room and said, here I am, Eli, here I am. And Eli, oh. Eli woke up and he said, no, 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 I didn't call you. Go back to bed, go back to bed. Eli went back to sleep. Samuel went back thought, oh, must have dreamt it. Got back into his bed all tucked up. And he went back to sleep. 
And then the voice came again. Samuel, Samuel. Samuel leapt out of bed and went rushing back into Eli's. I'm here, Eli. Here I am. I'm here. And Eli said, no, no, I didn't call you. Go back to sleep. And Eli tucked up again. Samuel went back to his room and he got in his bed and he lay down and he went back to sleep. And then Samuel, Samuel. <gasps> Samuel oh, what's going on? Here I am, Eli, here I am. And Eli, Eli sat up and he thought, hmm, there must be someone calling Samuel because he can't be, keep on making it up. And he suddenly realised and he said to Samuel, it's God who's trying to speak to you, Samuel. You go back and lie in your bed. And next time you hear your name called, you say, speak, Lord, I'm listening. And see what God has to say to you. So I went back to sleep again. Samuel went back and he was a good boy and he did what Eli said. So he lay back in his bed and he waited to see. And sure enough, Samuel, Samuel, the voice came again. And Samuel sat up and he said, speak, Lord, I'm listening. And then God started talking to Samuel. He told him all the things that he wanted Samuel to say to his people. And as Samuel got older, he would tell all the people the messages from God that they needed to hear. So don't forget, keep watching to the end and you can see the craft, how to make some listening ears like mine. I'm sure you can make them much better than mine as well. And uh, we're gonna do head, shoulders, knees and toes now because this song's got something about ears in it, hasn't it? Everybody ready with your heads, here we go. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Should we do that one again? I hope my ears don't fall off. Hopefully they're okay. Are you ready? Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Excellent. And next, I thought we could do some songs with some instruments then. So if you've got an instrument, a shaker, maybe you've got those shakers we made last week, tambourine, anything like that, or you can always just clap your hands. And I've got my maracas here, and we're going to do This Is The Way We Softly Play. Ready, everybody? This is the way we softly play, softly play, softly play. This is the way we softly play when we're making music. Nice and loud. This is the way we loudly play, loudly play, loudly play. This is the way we loudly play when we're making music. And slowly, this is the way we slowly play, slowly play, slowly play. This is the way we slowly play when we're making music. And really quickly, this way we play, this way we play, this way we play when we're making music. Ah, oh, well done. Right, we're going to have our wise man building his house on the rock. Ready, panda? The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock and the rain came tumbling down. The rain came down and the floods came up. The rain came down and the floods came up. The rain came down and the floods came up and the house on the rock stood firm. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built 
<laughs> row, row, row your boat gently down the river. And if you see a polar bear, don't forget to shiver. Brrr. Row, row, row your boat gently to the shore. And if you see a lion there, don't forget to roar. Rawr. Row, row, row your boat gently to and fro. Merrily, 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 over the side you go. Splash! <gasps> there, panda ended up in the water. Hope you enjoyed our singing and story. Don't forget to keep watching and I'll show you how to make your ears. And we'll see you again next time. Bye bye. So now it's time to show you our craft. I'm going to put it on my head so you can see what it looks like. You can see here, you might not be able to read, but it says listening ears. And we're going to make some big listening ears to remind us of our story about Samuel and how he had to listen to what God had to say to him. So for this you're going to need some sellotape, you're going to need some paper or thin card and a piece of card as well and I've got my scissors and a pencil and a pen and you probably might want some more colouring pens, pencils, crayons to decorate your headband and your listening ears. So first of all I would suggest you make a band that will fit round your head. So I've got some old card here that I had in my cupboard so I'm just going to cut it and I found that it's just about long enough to go round my head. So put that on one side then you're going to need to make some ears. Now drawing isn't my strong point at all but I think that I will show you how I drew them and see if you can do them something like that. So here's the ones I drew before so they're very simple shape here and I'm sure you can do something even better than that. So you want to have an ear shape. I've oh, folded my paper in half then you can do them both at the same time. You don't have to try and get two that look similar. So we're going to draw a sort of like an oval shape really. And then I'll put another kind of curly bit because you have that don't you with your ears. And then what you need to make sure is that you put some kind of sort of flap bit sticking out so that you're able to fix your ears onto your headband. Let's just quickly cut those out. Very quickly, so not very well cut out, I admit. As I say, make sure you've got that bit sticky out bit so that you can join it on. Then when I take them apart, you obviously want a pair of ears. And I'll just draw that line in. Now you probably might like to colour those ears in now, make them look nice. But I'm not going to take the time to do that. I'm going to create my band to go around my head. Uh, so if you've got a nice long piece of card, you don't have to stick it together like I do. But I hadn't, so this is what I'm doing. Before you join it up, you probably want to uh, write on it and decorate it if you're going to do that. So I'm going to write on here... Listening ears. There we go. As I say, it would be lovely if you coloured it in and decorated it, wouldn't it? Then make sure it fits around the head. I'm hoping this one will, as the other one did, but there's no... Oh, it's a bit too big, so I'll just pull that back a bit. Yes, that'll do. A bit of sellotape, or you might have a bit of... You might use your stapler or something, but remember, staples can be a bit painful if they stick into your head. There we go, so I've got my listening ears and then I want to stick my ears on. So make sure you get them the right way up, not that it matters hugely, depending on how you've drawn them. And then this is where your flap comes in. So we'll 
stick that on and then you want to fold it so your ears will stick out nicely and I found it helped to put a bit of sellotape on this side as well just to hold everything in place. One ear and another ear hopefully really quickly so it might not be fantastic here we go and then you can put it on your head and you've got your listening ears